So for this rear delt cable pull around, I'm gonna show you with the bench support because I believe it is very helpful, but if you don't have a bench or you can't bring a bench over to the cable machine, I'm gonna show you how you can do it without the bench. And so stick around till the end of the video for that. You wanna set up the bench a couple feet away from the cable and set the bench up to either completely upright or one click down. You'll see in a minute that it's mostly about comfort and you can decide. As far as the cable height, roughly chest height is gonna work fine, but you'll see it's easier to figure out the cable height when you're sitting down. And we're just gonna use a single D handle. If you have straps or versa grips, give it a shot. I think it will be helpful. Quick anatomy lesson, the rear delts will lengthen when the arm goes across the midline of the body. And that's why we're gonna set up like this with both our feet, our hips and shoulders off center here so that the cable now requires that I pull my arm across the midline. That's why it's a pull around because we're going to lengthen the rear delt a little bit more. So you're gonna grab the cable with one arm and you're gonna sit on the bench with both your feet, your hips and your shoulders kind of squared 45 degrees away from the cable. And you're going to use your free elbow to prop up against the bench and you're gonna press into it for stability. And that's why I find the bench to be really, really helpful because you can push into this and create a lot of stability. Now, my arm is going across my chest here, which is lengthening these delt muscles, these rear delt muscles, and that's the point. Now, as far as assessing cable height, I want the cable on a slight downward diagonal. And so that is what we have here. The cable isn't coming directly kind of horizontal, perpendicular to my torso. It's up a couple clicks and I'll help you with that in form videos. Now you want to use a grip. If you can see this handle on a slight diagonal like this, because that's going to represent where my arm is going to go. It's going to go right here. Arm stretching across the body, pressing into the head of the bench. We don't want this where we're tucking the arm here. We would want that if we wanted to work the lats, but actually we want to rotate our palm and our elbow up and out so that we eliminate some of the lats and we can keep this more localized to the rear delts. You don't need to be facing 90 degrees away from the bench. You should be facing roughly on a diagonal 45 degrees to either side of the bench, pressing into the head of the bench, keeping that elbow away from the torso, keeping the palm on a diagonal there. And when you switch sides, just switch hands here, get into position. Now, if you don't have a bench, you can still do this. You're just gonna set up in a half kneeling position. So if you're working your right arm, your right knee is gonna go down and you're gonna start off squared up against the machine and you're gonna rotate just like you did before. So you're looking 45 degrees to the side. Take your free hand, press it into that front knee and you're going to still do that same motion, keeping that elbow up off the body, not tucked tight to the torso, up off the body here. Now I can tell you that it's costing me a little bit more in terms of energy to stay rotated. The cable's trying to twist me. And so my front foot and my front leg muscles are doing a lot of work. And that is why the bench can be superior. But at the end of the day, you can still get a really great stimulus.